40 degrees out here, but we've just hit the dirt. So we're airing down. What are we going down to on the track? 35. Fender's gone down 35 on the track. I don't. 35 on the track? Yeah, and I'll go to 30 on the caravan, I think. You reckon? Yeah. 30 on the caravan. If we have to stop and go lower, then that's what we'll do, but hopefully not. Um, and it's about 154 k's to Kings Canyon from here. So um, I can put the covers back on. Okay. Um, so yeah, yeah. on to Kings Canyon. We made it to our free camp for tonight, which is Gipsy Lookout, um, 20 k's or so north of uh, Kings Canyon. It was a hectic, corrugated, rutted drive of like 120 or 150 k's of dirt. Um, took like four hours. We stopped and checked the van a couple of times just because we weren't weren't confident to just ignore it the whole time uh, we would prefer to like stop and check and um, fix anything quickly if we could but check out the view we walk out epic it's been a hot hot day in the outback but when you come to places like this makes it worth it.
Good morning. Check out the view from my bedroom window. It's a nice one. All right, we're off for the Kings Canyon walk. We've chosen to do the creek walk into the canyon um, because of the temperatures today. So it's, um, what time is it? It's quarter to nine. Um, and by the time we go up to the um, rim walk, it's gonna be too hot and too long for the kids. So we're gonna do the creek walk into the canyon. It's a one kilometer walk. No, sorry, a one hour return walk. Whatever that equals to, I don't know. We'll figure it out, I guess. G'day, G'day. Kings Canyon. Yep. It's been on my bucket list for a while. Yeah, it's pretty epic. It's pretty cool. We're not doing the rim walk. It's a six kilometer walk and Ari is not feeling very well today. So. Think, and um, six k's is too far for us really as well. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> really? Yeah, we'd have to have a lot of breaks for mm. my ankles and stuff. And it's pretty hot, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably not Maybe in winter, like it'd be a much better option. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, to the gorgeous. The creek walk is not that far. Pretty easy. Yeah, and it um, takes you up far enough to see, to get the impression of how big the canyon walls are and stuff, which is cool. Yeah. And see all the colours, and they've done a nice sitting area up here at the end. Yeah. they even got little um, brass statues of all the different types of birds that you can find here, which is really awesome. Yeah. It lets you see what they look like and what size they are and everything. That's yeah, really well done. Yeah. Really impressed. Yeah. Anyway. It all matches in well. Moving on again. Moving on. We're off to Yulara, here's Rock. Uluru. We are, we are. Yep. But we Gotta need... air up the tyres first. Yeah, I was gonna say we need to air up, <laughs> we need to actually walk out of the gorge here and all that stuff first. So yeah. a little bit before we get there. Onwards. And southwards. part way up came to a little lookout I'm gonna make it the rest it's hot and I'm puffed but this has been on my to-do list for a while now um, Daniel and I um, tried to come here when we did all the room in 2012 and the roads were flooded so we couldn't make it so I come back and I'm gonna walk to the top Probably like 35 degrees right now so I'm only walking up having a look from the top saying I got to the top walking back down again Oof. 
and I apologize for the boring camera angles because I'm not going to be doing the backwards forwards that I normally do to capture different walking angles and stuff because it's steep and hot. What a view. What an accomplishment. I'm stoked. Made it back to you. <sighs> Feel that burn in the legs. Not as bad as going up, but still there. I think I jelly legs. <laughs> Some of those steps were pretty big to step down. Um, only, yeah, I highly recommend that if you are fit and healthy. Um, even if you just do what I did and walk up the steep bit, get to the top, have a look out, and then walk back down again such a different perspective hope that was worth it for you guys hope you enjoyed that um it's not often i uh, venture out and do some walks like that what do you reckon that view out to the left they call that the poor man's full roof it's an interesting interesting concept i can see why they'll say it's called mount Condor, is that right Stop for lunch. Found a lookout. What can you see? What do you think it is? No, it's not Uluru. It's Mount Connor. It's pretty impressive though. Oh, I found the uh, salt lake. You have to cross the road and go up the red sand dune. So I've done this twice now. Um, GoPro wouldn't start, wouldn't turn on when I walked off the first time, so I had to walk back down and chuck it in the fridge because it's so hot. And that worked. Oh, but you think I would have done enough walking for today, wouldn't you? have arrived at the Ayers Rock Resort at Uluru. Uh, they're doing a stay four, pay three deal for us. I think it was a stay three, pay two, but we're doing four nights here to just sit and chill for a little bit. Uh, what do you think, Daniel? Oh, having an issue with the stabilizer. Maybe the heat is a bit jammed. It's expansion or something. It was 42 degrees here today. Yeah. Ooh. Still pretty warm. Just started. It's got cloud cover over. It looks like it's going to rain. It does look like it's going to rain. 42 degrees and going to rain. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Because uh, last time we were at the rock, it rained. <laughs> I feel like it uh, has to be keeping up with the tradition or something. Anyway, uh, so it worked out about $39 a night, I think. I haven't done the maths exactly, but roughly around that $40 a night. Um, with that little discount deal thing they got going on. We put on site 90 because we're a big rig and there's um, only a few big rig spots. So that's us. Unfortunately, here's a dirt, red dirt one. So we've had to put the um, mat down, trying to reduce how much dirt is in the van. Um, but yeah, we're pretty exhausted. It's been a bit of a long day, but it's nice to be back at Uluru again. Pretty special place of Australia.
trip number one to Uluru. Checking it out for sunset. We've brought dinner with us, so we're going to do that. Um, this, this is trip number one because we're staying a few nights and um, we're not 100% sure what landscape photography capture we want. So we're going to make the most of pretty much every afternoon um, until we get the one that we want. So I don't know what we'll end up, end up including because um, who knows what the weather's going to do and who knows what um, position we get to. Hello up there. Hey. One advantage to a really tall truck, really good viewing platform anywhere you go. <laughs> Today we're at Uluru, Ayers Rock. <clears throat> I'm getting a cracker of a shot today. What a spot. Such an iconic location and I'm just so glad I'm here and I can capture it now with everything that I know about photography now. It's just incredible. It's pretty special. Another evening here at Uluru, sunset. We did a big drive around all the different vantage points, um, checking out the different options for sunset. But as you can see, um, lots of cloud uh, in the sky. And if I turn you this way, that's the direction of the sunset. So we had a big bank of cloud there, stopping any color, it's which was, nice. it was nice. It was actually, I was gonna say, which is probably a good thing because Daniel forgot a memory card. <laughs> for his camera so if it did light up epic we would have been really pissed off because <laughs> um, we forgot the card all right so we got to just sit and enjoy um a cheese platter and just enjoy the moment tonight which doesn't happen too often in these kinds of places so yeah yeah this is why we travel the way we do so we can have enough time in places have plenty of time like mm. yeah. four or five we nights we try here. to yeah we we try to travel where we have the flexibility to scout um, as well as capture for a couple of nights and see what we can turn up out with and what we can get. Um, we try not to be just, you know, on a schedule and only have a, already booked in only a couple of nights here and there and things like that so that um, if the weather doesn't play the game, we've got time and um, opportunities. So that's what we're doing we're doing four nights here minimum we may even extend and it looks like we will be extending here um because there's a couple more things we want to do like um, a helicopter and stuff as well if possible so we're kind of playing it by ear the priority is a landscape capture um and if we capture that and then we've got a night to spare for a helicopter or something then we will do that as well so yeah it's all pretty flexible at the moment anyway lovely all the room Good morning. We are at Uluru, as you know. We're actually at Uluru. Um, and we are going to attempt the base walk um, on unicycle and, and mountain bike. Um, and check out the scene along the sites and scenes along the way. Take you with us, of course. Um, and yeah, see how it goes. 
We're not sure if we'll make it all the way around because I gotta do the push bike. We'll see. I'll be the first person to ever electric unicycle around the base of Uluru. I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't checked it with anyone, but uh... here we go. Alrighty, got to walk the rest of the way to the Cantu Gorge. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully the bike's out when we get back. How's it going? Getting puffed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how far we've come. We've come about probably six k's. Yeah, right. More than halfway. Yeah. Downhill from here, right? Yep. <laughs> Flat, actually. <laughs> Bare feet, because I forgot my shoes, so I'm just wearing thongs, and I was slipping around a bit on the thongs, so I've just gone barefoot now. Chinese safety boots. Speed, yeah. three kilometers per hour. Distance, three kilometers. Battery, 53%. Phone battery, 81%. 20 I can be the first time. person to ride a unicycle on Uluru. Here we go. <laughs> oh, we have to ride on it, apparently. I'm not trying to set any speed records or anything, I'm just cruising along slowly. <coughs> Although I could, this could still be a world record for the quickest unicycle lap around Uluru. <laughs> stopped in at the waterhole. That's really cool. And there was a little tiny waterfall happening still, which is cool. Um, if I haven't already said, I can't quite remember. We came here in 2012 and it rained. So we actually got to see it with all the um, actual like waterfalls running off Uluru, um, which is one of the reasons why we wanted to come back again. Obviously we want to come back again and film it for you guys because this that was way before overland exposure happened. Um, and we also wanted to see it um, in the sun and capture a beautiful artwork and do the base, walk around and see all the different parts of it. Um, so that's why we're here for a few days this time, checking it all out. So it's really cool to see both and have that memory of the waterfalls and have a little tiny waterfall again today in that little waterhole area. Um, I'm pooped, but we've still got probably like 
I don't know, three or four k's to go. So I'm just gonna have to suck it up and make it out around back to the truck. Almost completed my unicycle lap of Uluru. What an experience. Uh, and this is how the plebs do it. It's the longest ride I've ever done, I think, as an adult. Oh, and this soft hand is a killer. And the extra weight from Aria is a killer. We did it. We made it. We made it around. Around Tick the whole base. Off the Tick. bucket list. <laughs> and I did it on an electric unicycle. We are going to attempt the short part of the Valley of the Winds walk. Um, it's meant to be 2.2 k's. Um, return up to a lookout. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, we're back again. Fingers crossed again for an awesome sunset. Uh, we're actually going to cook dinner here at Uluru tonight. We're going to cook some carbonara. So we're going to get that on so that when sunset lights up, we're um, dinnered and ready to capture. So we'll show you that. This is not planned. Our pot is somehow, our saucepan is somehow. Our pot. Our pan. Like stuff is good to the induction. Yeah, really good. Dinner on the truck. Dinner on the truck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Delicious carbonara with a beautiful view. Yep. This is what I love about the truck. Being able to cook dinner on the run. 
We just need and to get aided on top with a lookout platform. <laughs> we just need to get better at at um, being organised for it. I think. <laughs> but anyway, that's a. Uh, I don't know how it happened, but anyway, all good, all good. You finally there was good sunset. Ari and I have just come to the uh, Uluru Camel Farm. Um, you have to be five and older to actually do those little rides, but we got to have a quick photo on one, which was fun. And um, there's lots of uh, farm animals to check out, and uh, the people here are awesome. And if it was peak season, there's a really cool bar area, um, and they do camel racing, um, and the atmosphere here would be awesome. So if you're here in the peak season, make sure you drop out one one day and um, have a look. And um, staff here were so friendly, they gave us a little bit of an extra touring to see some babies and um, talked about the camels in the outback here. And yeah, it was really informative. Definitely make this one a little um, outing. It's not far from Yulara um, to come and visit. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.